Hi uh, guys, back again with the horror update. As you can see, there is a huge, huge, huge stack of stuff. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get through this in one part. But if not, uh, we'll split it into two parts. Hi uh, guys. Uh, as I was saying before, huge stack of DVDs. I can always hide behind them. So, uh, we'll jump right in. Try to get it into one part, but mine end up being two, just because there's so much here. Me finding horror. Uh, DVDs especially everywhere, so been picking up, up picking up a lot. Uh, the first things I've got shot are these uh, Goosebumps VHS tapes. So it's just a uh, single episode on these. But um, I thought I'd uh, start picking them up. There's about 13, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think there's about 13 of the actual taped uh, episodes. Um, so I just picked up a few, a few that I found. Uh, Uh, checked one out. Um, not sure if I'd seen this series before. Seems kind of like sort of familiar, but then it doesn't. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch a few more because I've only watched one so far. But I'll um, probably get around to watching the others soon. See if they are remember it. And then we we're on to the huge stack of DVDs and Blu-rays. Yeah. First up, we've got Bugs, which is a kind of like a sci-fi channel TV movie thing. Um, that's why it's a bit strange that it's put out by Universal on DVD. Seems a bit weird, a TV movie being put out by Universal, but... Yeah, it's probably one of the better kind of uh, sci-fi channel movies that I've seen. So, if that's anything to go on, um, pretty much just uh, killer bugs in the uh, subway tunnels. So. Uh, this one was pretty horrible, um, pretty disappointing. I was expecting a bit more from uh, kind of these monster armor collection releases, but um, Jurassic Attack it was pretty much kind of like a um, Jurassic Park kind of ripoff where more kind of goes wrong and uh, I think they're shooting them or something. I really couldn't, <laughs> really didn't uh, put too much attention into this one. I really couldn't uh, end up, I don't even think I ended up watching it through just because it's pretty bad, so wouldn't recommend that one. Um, next one is definitely one I wouldn't recommend unless you're a uh, kind of hardcore zombie guy that has to have every zombie movie, I would uh, stay away from this one. It just doesn't really do anything too well. Uh, tries to mix kind of westerns and zombies and comedy. Uh, it's just really not that good at anything, any of those things. So yeah, stay away from this one unless you're a hardcore zombie guy that has to have it for his collection. Um, next we've got uh, 30 Days of Night, the uh, Dark Days. Um, this wasn't too bad. Uh, Nowhere near as good as the first movie. I like the first movie a lot better. Um, yeah. Not too big a fan of that, but okay. Uh, then we got Blackwater. It's apparently based on tour events. Um, not too sure how true that is, but uh, yeah. It was good that they actually uh, went out into the water and shot this, so it wasn't all shot in a studio, which is pretty good. Pretty, uh, Good dedication from the actors especially, having to uh, be in the water for hours at a time. I'm sure it was pretty cold. <laughs> pretty sure the water was freezing cold, I don't think it would have been warm at all, so... Definitely props for that, but um... Yeah, I wasn't too big of a fan, but it was still... Still a half-decent kind of creature feature. I'd definitely recommend giving it a watch if you haven't already, but um... Yeah, probably uh... Probably only a one-time watch thing for me, I think. Um, then we've got the uh, Mother's Day remake. Uh, so I haven't seen the original, so I'm not going to jump into this one yet, but still. So yeah, hopefully I find the original thing and then I'll be able to check that out. Um, then we've got Stephen King's Desperation. It's got, um, his name John Pelman in it. I think that's in there. I think that's his name. But, um, yeah, definitely like uh, picking up these Stephen King adaptions. I usually do pick them up when I can find them. Um, then we've got an After Dark's original, uh, The Prowl. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet, so I can't comment on that one. Um, then another one of these uh, $2 Blu-rays um, for Camel Spiders. Um, my DVD copy actually uh, kind of cut out in the middle, so yeah, this is pretty much just a cheesy kind of a 
spiders attacking everyone in the uh, town, small town kind of coming together and uh, shooting all the spiders and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty, some pretty cheesy kind of opening scenes uh, with uh, with uh, soldiers in Iraq and that kind of thing, pretty cheesy, but um, yeah. <laughs> It was what I was, pretty much what I was expecting anyway for a um, movie title, Camel Spiders, so. And then we'll go on to uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Um, yeah, not really too big a fan of this one. It's really kind of silly in some parts where, uh, especially when you've got the uh, hero coming out, the uh, family with the chainsaws, kind of arms himself with three chainsaws instead of guns for, I don't know, just so they could have a chainsaw fight it seems like. <laughs> Seemed a bit silly that he didn't at least have at least one firearm on him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just seemed a bit too silly for me, I think. Um, especially with the tone of the first one was really kind of dead serious, and this one's kind of a lot more silly. So I think that doesn't really help it too much. But um, yeah. Then we're on to the Horde. So this is a, uh, I believe it's French zombie film. Yeah, I like this one. Um, I know some people aren't really too big, um, too big a fans of this one, but I enjoyed it for what it is. And uh, for picking up for five dollars new, I thought, uh, why not? How can I go wrong there? Uh, then uh, we got Wrong Turn Three. Um, yeah, not the biggest fan of this one. Uh, CG just seems really, really bad in this one. I'm not sure what it is, um, but. Not sure what it is, but yeah, CD's just really bad in this one. I don't know what happened. Maybe the budget was cut a bit for this one, but uh, this one seems to be a lot of people. A lot of people are the one. Uh, a lot of people hate as well. Um, so <laughs> yeah, definitely joining them there. Um, definitely not my favourite in the long term series. Double feature of uh, House of the Wax Museum, and you also get as a uh, special feature, you get the actual uh, original uh, Mystery of the Wax Museum, so that's very cool. Um, have uh, put it in colour though, um, which is a little annoying that they uh, colourised it instead of uh, leaving it black and white, but uh, it's still pretty neat to uh, pick up and uh, get that just as an extra, so seven bucks, I can actually find out that. Um, then we've got Of Unknown Origin. Um, this is a blind buy on this one. Um, I've heard a few good things though, so I wanted to check it out. So hopefully it's pretty good. Um, then we have the uh, Wrong Turn 4. I um, like this one a lot better than 3. By the CGI can be bad at some scenes, it's uh, actually a lot better than 3. So. Very, <laughs> I'm not happy with the CG in that one, definitely. Um, we've got Pandorum. So, um, if you've seen uh, Sunshine or Event Horizon, you know kind of what to expect from this one. It's kind of like a spaceship horror movie. I really enjoy this though, pretty good. Definitely recommend uh, checking it out if you liked Event Horizon or Sunshine. Um, then we've got one I really wasn't sh too sure about, but um, Andrew. Uh, Batman, I loves this one, so uh, I had to give had to give it a go and pick it up uh, when they're having a seven dollar sale. And uh, it is uh, Stitches with Ross Noble in it as the uh, evil clown. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. It's got some uh, <laughs> pretty uh, bizarre kind of wacky clown kills in it and that kind of thing. So yeah, pretty entertaining little film that one. Um, then we've got Triangle. Um, this is one that uh, a lot of people are recommending I see. Um, um, yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's uh, kind of like it's pretty much that uh, everything's going round and round. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was alright, but uh, nothing. Like amazing, like a lot of people were telling me, so. Um, let me have Wolfram. So this is a werewolf movie. Um, this one's a bit underrated, I think. Or, I know it was put out by Warner Brothers, but um, 
I really don't see too many uh, people have it in their collection or really talk about it on YouTube, so I'm sure whether it's kind of like uh, people have kind of forgotten about it, I guess. But um, really cool cover art on it as well. Pretty good movie. I enjoyed watching it. of a uh, new umbrella release, sorry, of uh, The Prowler. It's very cool. I uh, hadn't seen this one before, so it's pretty cool. Uh, guy in World War II uniform going around uh, bayoneting people and uh, blowing their brains out with his uh, sawn off shotgun and pitchforking people, so um, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. I like that one. Uh, also, Tom Savini does the uh, effects as well, so, you know, they're going to be half decent. Next we've got um, the Vincent Price movie, I'm called House of Usher. Uh, I have not seen this one yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. Big fan of, uh, I usually do enjoy our Vincent Price movies. We've got our Mario um, Barber film, Kabala, Barbia, something like that. Um, Definitely wasn't expecting to find this uh, at the flea market, but I did, uh, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. I've not seen any of his other films, so... And it is the whip in the body, so I should mention that. And we've got... Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, uh, another one put out by Umbrella. Um, but good audio commentaries and that kind of thing. Uh, some kind of short feature things as well, which is good, always well, good to see, but um, yeah, this isn't too bad, um, not as good as the first two, but still half decent, I've heard that uh, kind of gets kind of the sequelitis with the uh, other movies, so we'll see, I'm not sure whether I'm going to pick the, the rest up yet, or just stick with the three that I have, and then we've got uh, just a Two dollar cheapy uh, ZY ZZY X Road. Uh, yeah, not expecting too much of this one. Uh, it's just a cheap flashback entertainment one, so probably not very good. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, we've got uh, the Guardian. This is one from the uh, same director of the Exorcist. So um, I've not heard too much about it, so we'll see. <laughs> See with this one too, as it is put out by our flashback entertainment. Uh, that's usually a bad sign of it being good, but we'll see. I've got uh, one by Clive Barker, uh, Lord of Illusion. Um, so I have not seen this one, but it is a cinema cult title for $7. So a br for a brand new cinema cult title, uh, yeah, I was going to pick it up and give it a go. So hopefully this one's pretty good. I haven't heard, really heard too many people talk about it either, so I think I'm not too sure. And then when I'm here, uh, I don't know, I'll leave that. Um, then I got this uh, Horror Movies Volume 2 from uh, Payless Entertainment. I think the title selection is a bit better on this one. Um, it's got some more kind of 70s stuff and some uh, Vincent Price movies, so I think it's a bit better selection than the uh, first pack. I've uh, got Blood Sabbath, Dice is to Die, Werewolf, Wolfman, Sisters of Death, The Bat, Beast from the Haunted Cave, Scared to Death, Shock, and Lady Frankenstein. So, looking forward to checking out uh, quite a few of these. Right. Really good. Uh, and they're five bucks. Although I still am jealous, uh, a lot of you foreign viewers get a lot better multi packs than we do here in Australia. Um, yeah, I'm very jealous of some of the multi packs you guys get. Um, and I actually picked up this from uh, JB Hi-Fi. This is the uh, Video Nasties of the Definitive Guide documentary. Very cool. Uh, has all the trailers for all the nasties and all that kind of thing. Uh, all the people talking about how they collect the, uh, collect the videos and uh, talking about why uh, the government went a bit, government England went a bit crazy and was banning anything. Uh, Pretty much anything, even based on the covers, older <laughs> than movies, so got a bit too crazy. And uh, because I was one of the uh, first, to order, I got this poster. 
So that's very cool. Very cool. Probably gonna hang that up. And then uh, I got the scanners by Cronenberg. I uh, have not sit that, sat down to watch it yet, sadly, but I'm um, definitely looking forward to this one. Heard good things. Um, I got another, a, one of the uh, video nasties. Probably going to try to track down a few more if I can. Um, the Driller Killer. Yeah, a pretty horrible movie, honestly. <laughs> I mean, uh, it actually got re-rated as a uh, MA15 Plus here in Australia, uh, for some reason. I think everywhere else it's still rated R, but uh, got an MA here for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, pretty horrible movie, really. <laughs> um, I think it's got put on the list just because of this uh, image here, I think, <laughs> more than uh, I'm actually watching the film, because the film's not really put together that well or anything like that, so yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm not sure if I've shown these two before, I don't think I have uh, high tension. French film, obviously. Pretty cool. Um, ending's a bit, uh, yeah. But um, leading up to that, it's got some pretty cool uh, kind of kills and stuff in it. So, I'll be that one. And uh, Cockneys vs. Zombies, so lots of good, uh, good fun uh, zombie comedy. Um, I'd really put it up there with kind of Shaun of the Dead quality wise, so if you uh, like Shaun of the Dead I'd definitely recommend um, giving this a watch, really cool, really enjoyed that. And then uh, one I haven't seen that I really probably should have, um, happy to own it on Blu-ray and uh, check it out for the first time, it is uh, Wes Craven's original The Last House on the Left, so very cool. Um, Hoping to finally get some time this week to watch, uh, just sit down and give this a watch through. Alright guys, well that's all the horror, I think, <laughs> for now, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.